Hey, welcome back to Feral Art, or welcome to Feral Art. Um, if you're new here, my name's Kelly, and I hope you'll like this video enough to stick around and see what's coming up. And if you're returning, hey fam, um, how you doing? Today is the Nate's Art Lab edition, and um, we had a specific color palette that we were to use. And I had to mix up almost everything custom because it was a tough color challenge. So I'm just gonna tell you what's in each of my colors. This is color number one, it's golden, azo gold, um, plus Atelier Interactive Tinting White and Liquitex Cadmium Yellow Deep. She pretty. My second color is just Golden Azo Gold. Third color <laughs> is Golden Azo Gold plus Golden Benzamidazolone Burnt Orange plus Arteza Bard Bordeaux Red. Third color, um, well, that was the third color. Next color is just black. Probably Amsterdam lamp black, probably. Um, hmm. This one is my new, um, CT mica powder in gold. The next one is <laughs> Amsterdam Naples yellow red light plus olive green deep of Amsterdam Atelier tinting white and Liquitex cadmium yellow deep plus just a little bit of golden Van Dyke brown. And my last color here is golden mag manganese blue uh, plus um, a tiny little bit of Amsterdam lamp black. Okay, okay. So, I have my little cheat sheets here. <sighs> I am going to be pouring on, an, on a record, taped on the back, primed on the front. I'm going to, just because I am a klutz, and I tend to these days spin a lot of these off of the spinner, huh. I'm gonna make myself a little tape roll, stick it on the back, ba -ba -ba -ba. try to center it, Wipe it off good. And let's get down here. Here we go. Pretty well centered, I would say. Maybe not perfectly, but I don't do perfect. My pillow is PPG Multi Pro uh, 47 3110. So we're going to get that down. This light gold with a big lump in it, yep. And then the dark gold. And this reddish color. So 
some black. Our gold mica. The green. Oddish greenish color. And the blue. Okay. <laughs> now for our CAs, we have Golden Prussian Blue. and Amsterdam bronze. And let's move this out. There we go. And let us blow.
I'm going to clean this up and I will bring you in for a close up. Okay, so here we are with the wet results of my bloom on an old record. Thank you again, Studio 15, for the lovely stack of records. Look at this. All of my colors are proudly strutting their stuff. I think it's pretty cool. I really like it. I like the way that I can see every single flipping color that I put in there. Nice, nice. My CAs worked great. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Now is the time for the sparkles to show. That's that new um, mica powder that I got at some strange off-brand I'd never heard of before, but boy, oh boy, she works a nice. It's called Amber Gold. Um, I'll, I'll get the name for you and I'll put it in the, in the description box because honestly, I, I can't remember. So anyway, yeah, she's alive, boy. She turned out nice. I like it. Happy days. Love that right there. That's just so cool. Anyway, I will be back when we are dry. Ah, yes, here we are in a lovely, dreary New England afternoon. These are the dried results of my Nate's Art Lab color palette challenge. I think it turned out pretty cool. <laughs> I, uh... I don't have too much trouble with my PPG Pro, usually multi-pro, but this time I have a couple of little dots that are in pretty easy places, I think, to patch up. Um, I don't know whether I'll worry with it or not. Depends. But, man, yes. Yes, yes, indeed. What a lovely clock she will be. So what do you think? Hey, before you go, make sure and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment. I'll get back to you. I always do. And hey, if you haven't joined Nate's Art Lab yet, go, go give it a look. We have a pretty good time in there. Lots of times we answer each other's questions and things. So it is a very valuable place. So thanks so much for watching. And I will see you next time.